Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. If you're interested to see how I made this cup, stand by. So items you'll need to complete this project will include a cup. I purchased this one from Michaels. You'll need something to fill your um, cup with. So I will be using these. I also purchased these from Michaels. They were on sale. Um, then you will actually you'll need the star of the show, which will be the rhinestone hot fix placer that is not the correct name um, but I will have the correct name across the screen and of course in the description box below and then it comes with adapters so you will need these adapters that come with the um, the device uh, you'll need something to cover your hole with so I will be using UV resin of course um, but you can also use just regular epoxy if that's what you choose to use I believe that is all that you'll need to complete this project. If there is anything I left out, I will definitely put it down in the description box below. All right, y'all, with all that said, let's get started. So this is plugged up. That's why I can't really show you the whole entire um, thing. So it's plugged up. And once it turns, let me see if I can move it over just a little bit more. Sorry about the lighting, it's attached to my lamp. So this light right here will turn green once it is heated. So this is the on button, this will turn green once it is heated, and then your device will be ready to go. You'll also have to put your adapter on, however big you want your, um, in this case, your hole. So I don't want it super big but I don't want it super small either. So, um, hmm. I think this one would be too small. Um, so I'm gonna just go with this one right here, even though that's really big, but I'm gonna go with that one. You'll just screw that into the top there. That's all you're doing there is just screwing that in. So it is attached and then you'll just wait for that to go ahead and heat up. I'm going to take this sticker off. Okay, y'all. So my um, light is not turning green. So I don't know, but I thought I read in the um, instructions that it will turn green when it's ready. But it smells hot to me. And then if I touch it, it's hot. So I'm just going to go ahead and put it right in the middle not right here in the middle where the little circle is but close to it um let's see if i can move this over some more without losing my light there we go okay so i'm just going to press this here with some pressure And basically, this is just melting the bottom to create a nice clean hole. Okay, so it went all the way through. Uh, then I'm just going to take a pair of tweezers and just get this part out. Sometimes the um, plastic ring will stick to the bottom of the um device but my scary butt was too scared to let it do what it needed to do but just take some tweezers and pull the part out or if it gets stuck to the um device that's easy so that's a very clean hole it didn't take that long to make it let me see if we can focus there we go so that is a nicer hole, nice and big. So if you have bigger pieces that you're trying to put in to the bottom of your hole or you're doing a glitter and um, liquid way, then look, look how clean that hole is. Very simple, very easy. And 
You don't have to worry about drilling. You don't have to worry about something popping you in the eye. Like, <laughs> easy peasy. And then next, all you'll do is fill your bottom. Fill your cup, fill your cup, fill your cup, fill your cup, fill your cup. So let me go ahead and fill this up, and I'll be back. Look how it just slid in there, y'all. So I ended up filling the cup all the way up to the top, as you can see right there. Um, let me show you how it sparkles. Let me turn this light off. Oops, turned it the wrong way. So let me go ahead and show you how it sparkles. This is just with my regular light here. You see that sparkle? I cannot wait to get this thing into the sun. Let me go ahead and turn this light back on. Now, um, I did make a mistake and say that I got these from Michaels. I actually got them from um, Hobby Lobby. And if you look for them, they are in the same aisle as the beads. So it's the jewelry shop findings. And it's on the opposite side. Well, in my Hobby Lobby, it was on the opposite side of where the string beads and the seed beads are. So kind of look for that right there. And I did not pay $4.99. It was actually um, on sale. So I think I paid the second time maybe $2.99 and the first time $1.99 or even less than that, but it definitely was not um, $4.99. And I ended up using three and a half packs on um, this cup. Now the packs don't have, I mean, it has a fairly good amount in there, but this is how much it has in there. So I use about three and a half of this into in this cup. All right, so it's all filled up. Everything is shaken down. And I got those that gap out that I had in there before. I just had to keep hitting the sides, hitting the sides, hitting the sides. And I ended up getting that gap out. Um, so just make sure you check your cup and make sure there are no gaps or anything in your cup. Um, and you can fill it to however you like if you want to do halfway full, whatever. Anyway, I'm using a glue dot here. And I'm just going to cover the hole with the glue dot. Maybe, maybe not. Yes, okay. And this just keeps the um, resin from going down into the hole because this is a fairly big hole. So if I were to just leave that open and then put the resin on top, it would drip down into the cup and I don't want that to happen. So I just put the glue dot on there as a barrier. And now I'm gonna take some UV resin. I'm gonna put a little bit more UV resin into this cup because I have my window open and it's kind of setting up in the cup. <laughs> so if you do this, do not have it near anywhere where the sun is getting in. So anyway, you're just going to take your UV resin, same as before, and just go over that. Right. 
and then you're going to take your put it in the uv lamp or your uv box or if you have a uv flashlight such as this you'll just put it over that seal it up and then i'm going to put a little bit more uv resin on top of that just to make sure it's covered and then i will um set that uh the light um, excuse me and i'll set it underneath the light for about um 90 seconds and then i'll be back all right and once you have put it underneath the uv lamp or used your flashlight whatever or just set it in a natural sun um it is sealed it is good to go nothing should fall out and then you can use your cup easy peasy and the um, main focus was the um, using the um heat rhinestone the hot rhinestone whatever child <laughs> that rhinestone tool to um make the hole so it's a bigger hole and you can um, put any type of rhinestone this was three millimeters i believe yes three millimeters rhinestones or glass stones into the um, cup and um or you can use glass or whatever into the cup so that was a much easier process much faster the only thing that kind of slowed me down was i ran out of stones but yeah y'all this is the project i hope y'all enjoyed it if you did please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button if you are not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell to be notified when I when I drop new videos. All right, y'all. Don't also don't forget to share with your um, crafting friends just to show them a quick and easy way to make a rhinestone cup or a um, shaker cup or snow glow cup, whatever you want to call the cup. Um, so they will be able to see it. All right, y'all. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful day. I hope y'all have a blessed and beautiful week. And until next time, y'all. Peace. Thank you.